In this video, we're gonna show you how to integrate your Google tracking code with your Kajabi website. First, what is a Google tracking code? Essentially, it's the uh, Google's version of the Facebook pixel. You can use a Google tracking pixel and put that code on your website so you can actually see your customer's journey through your website. You can see their behavior. You can, you can see their conversions, their purchases. If they go to your checkout, you can actually see even where they're located in the world. So you can tell if your sales, sales are coming from the US or maybe overseas. It's an incredibly powerful tool and it's a must have to actually understand the behavior data of your customers. Let's jump in. Just a reminder to check out ReviewOnlineCourse.com. It's a collection of all my software reviews, the pros, the cons of each platform to help you decide which one's right for you. And just remember, if you decide to use any of my links to trial platform like Kajabi, Thinkific, or Teachable, and so on, you get a free pair of Apple AirPods as my way of saying thank you. Check the description box below for more details. Anyways, back to the video. So as you can see, we are on the back end of Kajabi. So come down here to settings. That's a good place to start. Um, this is how you build your website and your products. For this purpose, for integration, you're going to go down to settings. Click on the settings button and you're going to see third party integrations. That's exactly what we're dealing with here. So click on that. Scroll down. Go to this Google Analytics, toggle that on and it's going to ask you for a Google Analytics ID. Now, if you don't have um, this Google Analytics set up, I'm going to kind of show you exactly how to do that. We're going to get that tracking number and then we're going to paste it into here and then we're gonna hit the save button. It's that simple. You don't have to go through every single page in your website and put that tracking code on like you used to back in the day. Now with Kajabi, they make it super seamless. You can just toggle this on, put the tracking ID there. It's super easy. Let's take a look at how to do that. All right, so we're gonna come down here to the admin button, click on that, and then we're gonna move up and you're gonna see this create property. Click on that create property button and go down and create a property name. Then go ahead and actually um, check out this little toggle, toggle this for the create a university analytic property, and then put your domain in there. That way you can kind of verify that this is your domain. Hit the next button and then kind of fill out the survey. Once you do that, hit create and a pop-up will come up. You go ahead and just toggle out of that pop-up and then come back down here to that gearbox settings, hit the tracking info button, and then click on that tracking code. And you'll see right there, it will pop up and it'll be on the top left-hand side. You can see it over here, tracking ID. You wanna copy that and then you wanna head back over to Kajabi and you want to head back down to settings, back over to third-party integrations, and then you want to actually toggle on Google Analytics again and paste your Google Analytics ID right there. Hit the save button and that's it. Super easy, super seamless. Kajabi makes it effortless for you to track your customer's behavior. Any questions, comments? I love getting back to them. Leave them down below and I'll see you guys in the next video.